Meta has made a huge change to Facebook ads targeting and we need to talk about it. Not every ad account has this yet, but some of you may have seen Advantage Plus Audience pop up in your ad account. It's a brand new targeting feature and here's what Meta has to say about it. So to help explain this new feature and what it means for us as advertisers, I've got Meta support doc up about it. And it's actually made as part of a larger announcement. We heard about Advantage Plus Audience with a whole bunch of other stuff. Make sure you're subscribed and we're talking about the other stuff in separate videos because a lot of interesting things in here. And it's all about Meta to using AI and AI tools to help us get better results as advertisers. So this was announced on May 11th, so just a few weeks ago. And if we scroll down, you can see there's tons in here. I'm gonna talk a lot about this because it's really, really cool stuff. We're really gonna help, help take our campaigns to the next level and hopefully our results with them. But I wanna get down to this point here where we got Advantage Plus Audience. So you can see that what Meta is saying is that this is going to help you improve performance. That's the idea behind all their AI products. And we can see that this is part of their Advantage product range. I'm not a big fan of the Advantage branding because it's all very confusing and there are lots of similar things named in a very similar way, which gets very confusing. And this Advantage Plus audience should not be confused with some of the other Advantage type custom audiences or Advantage type targeting options that do exist. Now, the way this is going to work, if we just read through a little bit of this, you'll understand and I can say what it means for, for us as advertisers. So this is a new Meta Advantage product that provide advertisers with an updated way to reach people and drive conversions. Instead of using an advertiser's audience targeting inputs as hard constraints, such as men, 18 to 35 years who like baseball, advertisers who use Advantage Plus audience will add their audience inputs as suggestions to guide who sees an ad. So instead of saying, I only want to reach people that, for example, in this case, are interested in baseball, or I only want to reach men that are aged 18 to 35, Meta will use those as suggestions. It's like a, a directional thing as opposed to hard constraints. So you will still have your ads put in front of people that are 36, 37, maybe older. Um, you will still have your ads put in front of people that aren't necessarily interest in baseball, but Meta believes that they will convert. Now, what you may be thinking, and the first thought that I had was that this is kind of like a hybrid between open targeting, where you have just no targeting options whatsoever, and really specific detailed targeting, where you're going after interest demographic behaviors, and you're being specific with the type of person that you want to target. And this could be a really nice middle ground, particularly for those people that want some of the benefits of open targeting, the massive audiences allowing Meta to work out who best to target, but perhaps have a new ad account where open targeting doesn't usually perform well and they need to give Meta some direction in terms of the person, the type of person that's likely to convert, or perhaps they don't generate a huge amount of conversion volume, so Meta doesn't have that data history to be able to say, we've generated thousands of conversions, we know exactly who converts, you could just leave open targeting and we'll be all good. This is a nice sort of halfway house between the two. Now, Meta does go on to say that if you do need those hard constraints around your target audience, then you can use this thing called audience controls, which is going to be sort of within this Advantage Plus audience tool. And that makes a lot of sense because certain products you're only allowed legally to advertise to certain people. You can't sell anything with alcohol in it to people under the age of 18, for example. Uh, you may need to be really specific with location targeting where you advertise certain gambling products. Certain places might allow it, certain places might not. Again, there's going to be age restrictions and all that sort of stuff. So you can go in and put those things in if you need to. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. What I imagine this is going to look like, I haven't seen it yet because it's not available in our ad account, is that you're going to have this Advantage Plus audience feature and then audience control will be in sort of a, a Seymour options, a bit of a hidden section that's available for advertisers. The advanced advertisers will know how to use it. They'll go in and do it. Um, but it won't be something that most advertisers use or, or play around with. But I think it's interesting that they've put this in there. Now, I wanna talk quickly about when to use Advantage Plus Audience when it does become available in your ad account, assuming it's not already available. Because I think this is gonna be a really interesting new feature. It's using AI. A lot of people are keen to use AI in their Facebook and Instagram ad campaigns with external tools to the platform, but also within internal tools that Meta are creating themselves, which is fantastic, should help us get better results. Before I get into that, I wanna quickly mention a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And if you're running Facebook ads, you're not 100% convinced that you've got the right strategy specifically for your business, I'd strongly recommend you check it out. I go through three sales funnels that we use all the time as an agency, very much tried and tested. I show you exactly how to implement them. I think you'd be very happy that you went through this and took the time if you aren't 100% convinced on your strategy. There is a link in the video description below. Click on that, go through, register, and you can go ahead and watch it right now. So when should you use this new and exciting targeting feature? Now, we don't actually have this available in our ad accounts yet. 
So we haven't been able to test it. I will update you once we've been able to do so. But based on the description, I've got a pretty good idea for when you would want to use this. And it's along the lines of what I described earlier. If you want to go with broad targeting, if you've been thinking that's the good option or you've been told that's the best option for most advertisers, which it may well will be at this point, Meta certainly wants to push us towards broad targeting and variations of it. But perhaps you've got a new ad account and you don't have a lot of conversion volume, or perhaps you advertise a product or service that is fairly niche. Previously, I would have advised that niche product or service offers don't go with broad targeting. You want to be more specific with targeting options. This might be a really good hybrid where you can give Meta direction, suggestions in terms of targeting options, and then you can allow Meta to start there and expand from that point once you've got more data, once they start to see conversion. Instead of having to have separate campaigns or adding in new ad sets with broad, which is what we used to do, this is what we're going to be looking to do when possible, depending obviously when this is available in our ad account. Now, if you already have this, perhaps you're using it right now, perhaps you've tested it, I'd love to know how it is performing early doors. So please leave us a comment, let us know. If you're watching this video, take a look at the comments to see if people are using this and the sort of results they're getting. I know that Meta puts a lot of focus on new features and they tend to perform really well, particularly when they're new. I would expect that to be the case here. So keep an eye out for Advantage Plus audience in your ad account. Don't confuse it with some of the other Advantage products like Advantage Plus placements and things like that. It will be Advantage Plus audience. Keep your eye out, give it a go. I think you'll like to see really good results. And then please let us know when you do. I will be updating with future content on this once we've had a chance to actually test it. Now, if you want to know more about open targeting, broad targeting, going one step further than this and just leaving things completely open. Is that a good idea for your business at this stage? Is it not? I'd strongly recommend you check out this video. There I go through the details of when we use it as an agency, when we wouldn't use it. We never used to use it five years ago. Now we're using it a lot. Definitely something you should know about as a Facebook advertiser and probably something you should test.